Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Wi-Fi is not working after updating your Windows 10. So the first step is to make sure that you select the right network name and then enter the right password. So on the bottom right here, you can see the internet icon, your Wi-Fi icon, click on it. Make sure that you select your network and then click on connect and then ent enter your Wi-Fi password. Make sure the Wi-Fi password is right and then click on connect. Now the second step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, go ahead and shut down your computer. So go to the start menu, then click on the power icon and then click on shut down. Once the computer is shut down, go ahead and turn off your Wi-Fi router. So go ahead and switch off your Wi-Fi router and wait for a few seconds. And after a few seconds, go ahead and restart your Wi-Fi router. And once you restart your Wi-Fi router, once all the lights are up and running, go ahead and restart your computer and then try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Now still you're facing the problem, then go ahead and run the network troubleshooter. To run the network troubleshooter on the bottom right, you will see the internet icon, make a right click, then click on troubleshoot problems and then select your Wi-Fi or you can simply select all network adapter and then click on next. Once the troubleshoot is done, go ahead and try to connect to your Wi-Fi once again. Now, still you are facing the problem, then you go ahead and run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So just type in CMD in Windows search and then make a right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow and then run this command, copy these commands and then enter on the command prompt window and hit the enter key on the keyboard and then again the next command, hit the enter key then the next command, hit the enter key, and once you're done running all the command, you have to go ahead and restart your computer. So go to the start menu, then click on power icon and then click on restart and after that you know go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi now still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and reset your network to reset your network go to the start menu then open Windows 10 settings and just type in reset network or you can simply click on network and internet and here you can see network and network reset so click on network reset and then you have to click on reset now now before you go ahead and perform reset let me inform you that you should have a Wi-Fi password because once you reset after that you have, when you click on the um, when you select your network and when you try to connect it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password so go ahead and click on reset now and after that go ahead and try to connect to your internet enter the wi-fi password and it will connect to your internet now still you are facing the problem then you have to go ahead and uninstall wi-fi driver and then restart your pc now to uninstall wi-fi your uh, driver you have to go ahead and open device manager so go to the start menu and then make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager open device manager and then go to network adapter expand network adapter expand it and here you will be able to see your wireless card so it may be intel or maybe qualcomm or maybe another wireless card so make sure that you select your wireless card from here and then make a right click then click on uninstall device and then put a check on option which says delete the driver software for this device and then click on uninstall now once the uninstall is done you have to go ahead and restart your computer so after the uninstall restart your computer go to the start menu and then click on restart now once you click on restart while restarting the windows will you know by default it will go ahead and install the default driver driver so it will go ahead and install the default wi-fi driver when your computer will restart and after that go to the internet icon and then select your wi-fi network and then click on connect it will be asking for your wi-fi password enter the password and then you should go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. Now still you are facing the problem, then you have to go ahead and install the wireless driver from the system manufacturer website. 
So if you have HP website, you have to go to HP. If you have HP computer, you have to go to HP website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo website. Or if you have Dell, go to Dell website. So I'll just, for example, I'll show you for Dell. So just open any browser. And I'm just, in, for an example, I'm showing for Dell. So just type in dell.com slash support. So if you have HP, go to HP website. If you have uh, Lenovo, go to Lenovo website. Enter the service tag number of your computer or you can simply select your model number. And then select your computer, go to drivers and download page and then select network. And then from here you can go ahead and install the Wi-Fi driver. So this is just an example. So similarly, if you have Asus, HP, Lenovo, whatever is your computer brand, go to their website and then go to drivers and download page and select your Wi-Fi driver and download and install the Wi-Fi driver. Now, let me inform you that as you're not able to connect online right now, so you will not be able to go online and you cannot go to your website and you cannot install the driver, right? Because the internet is not working right now. So in this case, if you have a ethernet port on your laptop or a desktop, and if you have an ethernet cable, go ahead and connect the ethernet cable to your computer and then you can go online and then you can install the Wi-Fi driver. In case if you don't have the Ethernet cable or your computer or your laptop does not have a Ethernet port, then you have to go ahead and arrange another computer. So if you have another computer and you also need a USB flash drive. So you need another computer with Internet access and a USB flash drive. So uh, I'll just show you. So go to the website and then go ahead and connect your usb flash drive to the computer so i'm just connecting usb flash drive then open file explorer open file explorer from here go to this pc and here you'll be able to see your usb flash drive now go to the website suppose you click on download and once the driver is downloaded once the download is complete go to the download location where the file is downloaded so here you can see this file is downloaded click on show in folder and then go to the download location then make a right click then copy this file and then go to this and go to your usb flash drive open usb flash drive then make a right click then paste the wi-fi driver over here so this is happening on another computer so because right now your computer does not have the internet access so on another computer you have to go ahead and download the file then you have to go ahead and transfer the file to the usb flash drive then you have to go ahead and unplug the USB flash drive from this computer. Just click on eject, make a right click, then click on eject. Now, once you eject the flash drive and you can go ahead and unplug the flash drive from this computer and then you have to go ahead and connect the uh, flash drive to another computer on which the Internet is not working. So go ahead and connect the USB flash drive to other computer, then open the USB flash drive. Uh, go to this PC and open the USB flash drive and then you have to go ahead and run this exe file for Wi-Fi driver run this exe file and then install the Wi-Fi driver on the computer and then you can go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi now the last option is reset Windows 10 in case nothing is working then you can go ahead and reset Windows 10 now when when you reset Windows 10 this will delete all the data on the computer you will lose all the data on the computer so before you reset make sure that you create a backup you just uh, transfer the important files and application uh, to USB flash drive or maybe external hard drive or wherever you want to save the file. Go ahead and create a backup, then go ahead and reset Windows 10. So to reset Windows 10, go to the settings, go to the start menu, then click on settings, then click on update and security and then click on recovery over here. Now Once you click on recovery, here you can see the reset this PC. Now once you click on get started, you will see this which says keep my files so you have two options which says keep my files it will remove apps and settings but it will keep your personal file and the next option is remove everything it will remove all your personal files application and settings so select the option which you want um, i haven't uh, you know uh, done this uh, option which says keep my files so i'm not sure that you will you know i'm not sure that it's not guaranteed that you will have all your data so uh, because i haven't done this till now so so just make sure that you create a backup just to be on the safer side just create a backup so that you know if something goes wrong you at least have your data so 
select the option which you want and then click on next and then proceed with the reset once the reset is done you should uh, while set up you can go ahead and connect to your wi-fi after the after installing windows 10 so one of the steps should definitely help you to fix the wi-fi which is not working after updating windows 10 so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel